Hey Bombshell, I hope that you've had an amazing day so far and to make it a little bit brighter, I decided to create this makeup tutorial for you. As you can see, all the attention is going to be on the eyes and maybe a little bit on the lips, but let's just focus on the eyes for now. To start the look, I'm going to use Becca's Skin Perfector. I love this stuff because it brings an amazing glow to my face. Then I'm going to go in with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this stuff because it just balances out the look and it doesn't make your face look oily. For foundation, I wanted to give L'Oreal's Lumi Cushion Foundation a try because I've read so many good reviews about it. Now, in the beginning, I noticed that it wasn't giving me the coverage I wanted and eventually I did a second layer and it was alright. But after I had done my entire makeup, let me tell you guys something. It appeared to me as if this is a foundation that I could get at Sephora, that I could get at Saks. That's how nice it looked on my skin. So I definitely recommend it. And even if you just want to use it to touch up your makeup during the day, then go for it because it's fabulous. For my brows, I went in with the shade Dreamer in my Tartelette palette. I absolutely loved how it looked. Now, I recommend using eyeshadows, especially if your eyebrows are defined naturally and you have a lot of hair. This is my case. That's why I don't really use a pencil because I just like the end results better. As an eyeshadow primer, I am going to go in with a concealer. Now, I recommend this trick if you're just going to wear your makeup during the night. But if you want a result that's going to last throughout the day, then I don't recommend this trick at all. And one of the reasons why I did it is because I had already applied the photo finish primer throughout my face. And I included my eyelids and my entire eye area. So yeah, that's a trick that you learned at Beauty by Marianela. For eyeshadow, I am going to use the shade Best Friend and then I am going to go over it with the shade Bombshell. What a coincidence. <laughs> And then on the center of my eye, I am going to use a flat synthetic brush and I'm going to use the shade Free Spirit from this same palette. For more intensity, I'm going to pack on the colors and then as I go, I'm going to blend in everything together because we do not want any harsh lines for this look. We can't forget about contouring. Now, if you want to see how I contour and highlight using only cream products, this is perfect for people with dry skin. Let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to do so. Next, I'm going in with false lashes. I am going to list down below exactly every product that I use, so make sure to check that out. To really make my eyes pop, I am going to go in with a white pencil. Now, I didn't really like how my concealer looked when I blended it in with the brush. That's why you're seeing me going in with my ring finger and reapplying the product. And yeah, then I am going to just apply a generous coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. And this is just going to create an illusion as if you had applied dark liner throughout your lower eye when you really didn't. It's all thanks to the eyeliner and the mascara. Of 
course I had to apply blush this one is by Chanel I can't remember the exact name but I'm going to be listing down below exactly everything that I use and then I'm just going to pack on highlighter because if you have dry skin you can appreciate every bit of glow that you can get on your face To complete the look, I'm going to line my lips, check my eyelashes so that they're nice and I'm going to apply a generous coat of lip gloss because I'm a lip gloss kind of girl. I really hope that you love this look. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on social media, like, comment and I will see you on my next video. Bye!